NSFW, what is your kink and where do you think it came from? I'm into written and real makes me feel uncomfortable. I think it's because I feel uncomfortable intruding on people. For real. Literatica is my go-to for. Maybe it's to do with being asexual for me. When I, I don't really use visuals it's more feelings and sounds. I also love written but most stories on Literatica are like serious prose. I love when stories are focused on psychological aspects of characters, their relationships with many dialogues. I hate when they add unnecessary plots, drama or descriptions of surroundings. I just wanna whack off, I don't wanna spend two hours reading erotica. I like being submissive and in pain and I also have the daddy link but I don't wanna call anyone, daddy, maybe like calling someone sir or something. I think it came from the fact that I like to self-inflict pain on myself due to suicidal tendencies. You're my kind of woman. Why thank you kind sir. The girl looking happy or excited. I think it came from my lack of friends and just trying to make the friends I have happy. Wholesome kink. Cartoon. God only knows why. I'm into this, and I feel like it's because they're familiar. I also like thinking that if I look at art instead of that I'm helping a more ethical industry. Too many people, especially women, are clearly being abused in life. Human affection. You sick. Not sure if this qualifies, but I really really like being face down on my stomach. Everything feels so much better and more intense when someone is doing me that way. That and being claimed not hardcore possessive, but in a more gentle, this is mine and you are mine and I'm going to prove it by making you squirm, for me, sense. Long socks and glasses. I guess I just saw pics of it and thought it looked extremely cute and I really, 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 really like. No idea why? Did John Exotic give you meth money? And now I wanna knock off Tiger Lord action figure. King shaming gets me rock solid. Calling people daddy is gross. Stop king shaming me. King shaming is my kink. I DK where all these kink asks are coming from. Anyways, I like to hold physical and mental control over submissives and inflict pain in a lot of different ways, to make it brief. Where did it come from? If I know. Maybe I was abused as a child, maybe I feel like I don't control my own life. Ask Freud. All I know is hot. So I'm a guy, and I really like wearing women's panties. But I'm also a bit of an exhibitionist, and I also like to be humiliated a little. So, my fantasy is I want to be stripped to just my little lacy bikini panties in a public place. No matter what I do, I can't get my clothes back or cover up and everyone can see my panties. And there's a crowd of clothed women laughing at me. It's embarrassing, but really hot for me. I'm not sure where this comes from. I'm a little shy and maybe a bit uptight in real life, so maybe part of it has to do with just losing control of myself. Wow, well written, I think I just discovered my kink from reading this. BBW. Probably comes from an early relationship with curvy ex with legit H cups. Boy would you be ecstatic to know about this country called America. Nipples. When I was a kid kid an older girl would have me suck her she was only 4 or so years older but I was probably 9. Just typing this got the old dog jumping. I thought you said she was 4 years old then I immediately was concerned. I was brushing my teeth when I saw this, my mirror is covered in toothpaste spit now. I'm wheezing, my guy a-h-a-a-a-a. My kink is femdom and it probably came from years of psychological abuse. I too like femdom to some extent, but haven't suffered any kind of abuse whatsoever, underscore underscore. I like pregnant ladies. I want to have kids, so I guess it somehow wormed its way into my viewing habits. I also like bike shorts and tomboys but have no idea where those could have come from. Art right, while you're welcome. Premature ejaculation. The third girlfriend I had turned me on so much I lost control with her. She loved it and felt because of it and used various methods to reinforce my already weak stamina with her. A woman who can turn me so much on gives me such excitement and pleasure. I've also become pretty good at eating. I'm a dude I dky, but I like her to be the big spoon and whisper in my ear everything she's gonna do to me, then gently nibble my ear. I dk where this came from but I kinda like it. A girl wearing cat ears funny ears who is submissive but fights back if that makes sense. I'm a total dom but I like having pain inflicted on myself. I think I got the animal thing from Zootopia and the rest from who knows where. Rascal does not dream of bunny girl senpai. 
female here. I just want it really hard and to feel like I have no, I have no control. No idea why I think they came from my dad's side of the family. Don't ask. You should try taking an engineering degree. Underwear. Tights, leggings, stockings. And denim cut top shorts. Especially combined. I really have no idea where it came from. I am so in love with chubby women. Dating sucks because I'm not chubby myself. Everyone thinks I am just around or whatever. Hash first world problems I guess. Anyways, I have this kink likely due to the fact that my mother had a small car and often had too many people riding along. Many times I had people on my lap and I remember distinctly and vividly my aunt sitting on my lap and sitting hard. She wasn't obese but she was heavy. I've always been a bit submissive as well so when she seemed to not care about me in the slightest, didn't even adjusted herself like she was the uncomfortable one it set shivers down my spine and started that fire. I like socks and that's probably because I think bare feet are disgusting. Torture comes from my desire to make my partner or whoever I'm being sexual with feel pleasure on top of pleasure. I feel like my boyfriend has this he seems very intent on making me over and over. To be honest, I kind of love it because I've never had anyone so focused on my pleasure before. He wants to hear me moan and watch me shake and squirm and overall look like an exorcism is taking place in our bedroom, and it's spectacular. I don't really know my kink, but my girlfriend has a choking kink. I think it might be from physical abuse from her father. Knowing someone else's kinks fetishes and fantasies. Think James Spader's character in Lies and Videotape. There's just something mentally arousing about someone sharing their deepest thoughts on with you. It's a taboo topic, so when someone opens up to me about what they really, truly like I'm absolutely enthralled, especially when it goes against everything you thought you knew about them. My kink is 100% my wife. Pretty sure she came from New Jersey. Everything is legal in New Jersey. Erotic role play. Not with another person in the bedroom but with another person on the internet. At this point it comes from habit but when it started it came from intense body image issues that made me too uncomfortable to engage in sexual activity in my own skin. After reading all these comments, I feel like I need an adult. Schoolgirls. Anime. Disney princesses. Ina, I just want to hug Rapunzel. Nothing NSFW for me. Of all people, I didn't expect the top GTAO weekly bonus list or by the way we all appreciate your work on the bonuses. Female squirt, it came from this video. Can't get enough of it. That good OLDDLG kink that comes from the lack of a loving and respectable male figure in my childhood. I like to listen to my girlfriend tell me about her day. Biting, licking and feeling the abdomen both in a sexual way and just in general. I'm not sure about biting, maybe partly because I'm a top and I like eliciting a, a surprised submissive reaction from it. I'm not sure why I like abdomens and feeling them up I have no clue up you tell me. I'm really a fan of BDSM, the dominant trend, if I start to analyze why. I would say that the lack of control in my life makes having absolute control feel just magnificent. Lately my thing has been hot trashy girls. No idea why? You might like our trashy boners then, you're welcome. Slight pain in IDK, probably from me having issues. I'm into BDSM, why? I guess I project my fear of making life decisions on my own and my long for someone else to take responsibility for my actions on my sexual life. I like pain and showing off or being watched. No idea really where these came from. BDSM I'm mainly submissive and I feel it's a combination of falling back into an abuse situation I can have some control over in a form of kinda acceptable self-harm. Pretty grim thinking about it but it helps me get through life and have so. I'm really into powerlifting girls. I'm a gym meathead and I really like girls who take fitness seriously. Rubbing her with my big toe. Happened in elementary one time while playing hide and seek and got stuck in a cupboard with this girl. I'm and have a massive beard fetish. I don't know what does it. Especially stubble. Being breastfed but it has never happened. Haven't found anyone to do it. Don't know where it came from. Facials. No clue why honestly. I'm certain there's an element of domination in it that's appealing but that's really not the entire appeal. I honestly don't know how to describe it there's just an element of you're pretty and I want to look at your face. 
I like to tease and top shy guys but I also like being held down by my wrists when I have. I have no idea where they came from. I like being treated rough, treated roughly and like an object during. Grab my throat, slap me, call me derogatory names, etc. When it comes to I like see women who look like me get treated the same. Where did it come from? I was actually abused growing up lol. So I know exactly why I like what I like. But I don't care tbh lol. Wet clothing, swimming all clothed. I like when clothes cling to the body. It feels great. Hypnosis and mind control definitely came from that 90s live-action Superman show where Lois and Superman got hypnotized by the evil magician. So hot. I'm slightly more a sub, but I really enjoy tying someone up and doing what I want while they struggle against it. The only time I enjoy being dominant. Bald girls. No idea why? It just looks very effeminate to me. It's both elegant and sensual and makes the eyes stand out so much more. Big. It was the first thing I saw on HBO late at night. High socks. I really don't know where that came from. Tall, fit women with aviators. The origin was probably that my first real high school crush was a tall, fit girl who liked aviators. We're friends still and I owe her a lot in terms of helping me become a reasonably confident adult. Peeing. Not urine nor pissing during. Just a lady emptying her bladder. No freaking idea where it came from. Eating and by god I wish I knew. It has to be really nice too so it's always a lucky break when I can find something I like. Teacher kink. Not sure where it exactly came from but I guess I discovered it when I told a friend I found a teacher in our university cute and attempted to flirt. And sometime later I went on a few Tinder dates with one or two guys who worked as teachers then. After a while it kinda clicked in my brain and my friend said, yeah you definitely have a teacher kink so that's how I started exploring. As a student myself I started fantasizing about it and getting wet in class, flirting with him or having at his desk. Still looking for the day I find my own teacher to discreetly flirt with in class then after lol.